Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. If you are new to our YouTube channel, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get all the latest updates. 3D printing is an exciting technology that can be used in many different ways. It's a process of adding material together under computer control and then building up pieces layer by layer to create three-dimensional objects from digital models or designs submitted by designers such as architects with no limitations on size, shape complexity, ease, color changeability, etc. Which has led some people to referee test rapid prototype though they have slightly different properties than those done through traditional manufacturing methods since we are using computers instead but the same ideas applies. Today we are going to discuss structural reinforcement methods for 3D printed concrete. The strengthening of 3D printed concrete is achieved through the use of reinforcement techniques. Reinforcing bars, meshes and fibers are all used to improve its ductility while also increasing tensile strength and large scale applications like normal concrete production. The technology has many potential uses, including building up structural elements for an increased lifespan of creating personalized designs at home with ease. The reinforcement and anchorage technologies vary significantly. One example is the use of non-structural elements such as fiber reinforcements for reinforcing concrete, which helps strengthen it against damage from vibration or external forces so that its structure does not shake loose over time due to these causes being too harsh on your project's integrity. Fiber reinforcement are also used extensively in bridges, where they increase performance by proving extra speed between different paths at high traffic. The lack of form work in most 3D printed concrete makes the installation of reinforcement complicated. Early phases of research primarily focused on developing new material technologies for cementious concrete mixes, but these causes have not yet been addressed by codal provisions which only cover reinforced elements and anchorage points to other objects or surface, with no mention about how they should be installed onto a structure being built cell by cell using additive manufacturing. A recent study shows that this is an issue because there isn't any awareness among architects nor practitioners who design buildings according to the latest standards regarding what types of reinforcement techniques are currently available, meaning you could end up installing bars incorrectly so that your project will fail later. The material extrusion-based printing of concrete is currently favorable both in terms of technology and cost-effectiveness. This has led to the development or introduction into use for reinforcement techniques that work well with this type of 3D printing, such as metal fiber bound together by a cementitious mixture. Types of reinforcement The reinforcement in concrete 3D printing, much like that of conventional concrete, can be classified into three different types. These include pre-installation, where the pieces are laid before pour-off begins, co-installation which involves placing metal bars during actual construction on site to strengthen it once complete and post-installation when these structural components have already fulfilled their purposes but may need some maintenance or repairs after heavy use over time. The reinforced section will always hold up better because they are made with more material overall, making them stronger. One way to think about 3D printed concrete is like a construction kit where the pieces are made out of pre-installed meshes and fibers mixed with cement. It can even be compared against other building materials requiring structure such as steel, reinforcement bar for passive reinforcement or post-tensioning cables used in pre-stressed segments. This new technology also has an advantage over traditional methods. It's cheaper. One great example would be using these printable components instead on expensive reinforced aggregates which might not always remain available when you need them, most due to their high demand by industry players. Some common reinforcement in 3D printing Reinforcing steel bar The high availability and popularity of deformed bars as a passive reinforcement in conventional concrete system make it sought after by designers who want to use an alternative option without using form works. They are welded together, forming trusses between layers that work effectively at co-installation with other reinforcing agents like steel or rods for increased strength. 
The problems associated with printing rebar have been solved through this innovative technique, where the material can be bent into any shape required by architects during construction rather than string rigidly straight up against their desired outcome. Rebars are an effective strategy for strengthening cages around which concrete is printed to form wall and beam elements. They make up a large percentage, around 50% of the steel needed in construction projects like skyscrapers, bridges or underground tunneling parking or underground tunneling parking like London's cross rail project. Smart Dynamic Casting Smart Dynamic Casting SDC is a new printing technology being developed at ETH Zurich that allows for the production of complex geomorphologies without any farm work. SDC combines slip forming and concrete manufacturing by using pre-installed reinforcement bars, just like conventional casting processes which allow them to retain an object's shape as it hydrates into its final state over time. Even if this takes much longer than other materials such as steel could expect under similar circumstances. The DFAB house in Switzerland is built with concrete faced mullions of varying cross sections to allow for the use of conventional reinforcement methods and hybrid solutions like mesh molding or SDC. Reinforcement meshes Reinforcement mesh can be a great way to increase the strength and stability of your construction. Traditional reinforcement techniques use rebars, but this time around, they are used innovatively by printing out spools at once, with no farm work needed. These wires don't just provide horizontally or vertical spool like many other types do. Instead, they are exactly designed for lateral loads. So you'll never see it bend under pressure again when building large buildings on site quickly without worrying about costly damages during installation because all parts were printed simultaneously before being welded together into place using robotic arm technology. The use of reinforcement in both fresh and hardened states reinforces the concrete and compensates for the materials requiring lack of form work. Mesh Molding Mesh molding is an effective technology at the ETH Zurich to create load-bearing structures that are hard without special farm work. The concrete required for this dense mesh has adapted rheological properties such as self-compounding while maintaining its cohesive nature against the segregation because it must be able to withstand high forces under compression and tension before breaking apart or pulling away from one another when loaded. Fiber Reinforcement in order to combat the vulnerability of concrete structures, fiber have been added to the mix. The higher cement content and faster hydration rate requirements make it susceptible to shrinkage, cracking, as well as thermal stresses that can be contracted significantly with these reinforcements. Fiber reinforced printed shells also prove useful since only tough materials suffice for converting banning moment into axial force in such structural designs. Fortunately, fiber provides just what is needed. Fiber reinforced concrete is a promising new material for manufacturing farm works. Fiber of various types help improve the durability and strength to weight ratio of manufactured parts while also providing a range of other beneficial properties such as improved flexural tensile strength, cohesiveness in the fresh state, crucial when printing higher toughness due to steel or PVA fibers added during production process. These features make 3D printed fiber reinforced concrete suitable materials that will soon replace conventional ones easily on construction sites around the world. Cables High strength galvanized steel cables are an essential part in printed concrete elements where the lack of space for lying cover material prevents it. The cables can either be laid between layers or extruded together like mesh or wires. It's important to make sure that these ties will not weaken over time because they need strong bonds with both high strength and longevity under pressure. Otherwise, there could potentially become fractures throughout your project if left untreated. So that's all for it for today's video. I hope you all like this video. Do let us know in comment section about your favorite part of this video and do recommend us some topics as well on which you want to see the next video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. We'll be back soon with a new video. Till then, keep sporting and take care.